Hi traders, um, welcome to this demonstration of a platinum installation from scratch and also some stress testing on uh, an MT4 account and I just wanted to talk you through some of the trades that the system has placed. So first of all I'm just going to reinstall platinum just for the benefit of people who are updating patches to show you how to do that properly. This is a, this account you can see here is an IAMFX account which is using um, a suffix after the symbol data of IAM. I just I wanted to run on this account for testing purposes. It's a five digit and I'll talk you through the trades that have been placed over the last couple of days on, on the system. First of all, let's just run the installer. So first things first, let's close down MT4. The one you see behind it is another account, a JFD account, so I'm going to close that down as well. I've now got the installer package here. I'm going to double click on the setup program. Click run. Navigate to your MT4 root folder. So in this case it's C program files x86 in brackets and IMFX MT4. Click next. Click install. Click finish. And that's the installation completed. If you're getting errors it means that you haven't shut down Platinum correctly or it means that MetaTrader 4 hasn't been shut down correctly so don't try and install onto an open MT4 account uh, and also if you do if you have been using Platinum shut the interface down properly before you run the installation so that's the installation piece completed and if we go back into our IMFX account what happens here is all the old trades which have been put on are reflected on the screen so all the old SL and TP levels are maintained. Currently we've got in terms of active trades we have uh, a few which have been running for a little while so let's just have a look at the sterling US dollar trade to see how that was initiated. So you can see here this is the cable chart trend line 49684 sell touch I force this trade by increasing the threshold to, to just to basically get into the market the trade was opened at 11.59 on the 25th so yesterday and it went through this trend line didn't actually test the stop loss level and now it's working its way back down towards our take profit level so I was happy with that the next open trade is US dollar Swiss franc so let's have a look at that and this was uh, again a buy touch which was just I'll just uh, move that down a bit and move the trend line a bit so you can see what's going on so basically this was a, a buy touch trade which was triggered here and that was triggered at uh, 12.01 on the 25th again um, it hasn't really done much, it's just wiggled around basically between or well, just around this, just beneath this trend line. So, again, no major problems there. And the next open trade, let's have a look at is okay, uh, dollar yen. So, the dollar yen trade opened at 13.53 on the 25th, and this was again a sell touch. Uh, it's gone against us a little bit the trigger grid is open on that one at the moment so that's let's just turn that off so 497.34 dollar yen open the interface I'm gonna go to symbol filter to make things a little bit easier for myself just select the dollar yen scan the chart scroll down through here if I don't see anything just scan the chart again wait for tick data remember we've just relaunched the interface so it's gonna need to refresh Okay, we've got tick data, scan the chart, there it is. 49734, turn the grid off, and the grid's gone. So, we can see here, sell touch based trade, uh, again, come through, again, within the stop loss and take, with stop loss parameters, so again, still quite happy. Aussie dollar, US dollar, buy break, um, Again, we've got the grid on here, so let's get rid of the grid to make life a little bit easier for ourselves. Uh, I'm going to select that, and there it is, 49822. Turn the grid off. Wait for a tick. 
So you can see here, we've got a break of this trend line. And basically prices on its way up. So that kind of trade is looking pretty positive. Again, these trades aren't supposed to be kind of um, prescriptive in any way. That's just for demo purposes. And so on. So so basically the the system in terms of running on multiple charts with the new build from the testing I've done on two accounts uh, is, is being stable. In terms of closed orders, I've got some interesting stuff down here. Uh, we had quite an interesting trade on, on Euro Sterling where, where I used a sell break touch and I used a trailing stop as well. And let's have a quick look at that. What happened the trade triggered here on a sell break touch and came down. I put a trailing stop behind it and I put I just put a line, a horizontal line where the original stop loss had trailed down to and I last looked and uh, basically it, price has come back up and taken us out but the trade ended up with a 20 point or 20 20 dollars or so nearly 21 dollars on off a point zero a point one lot trade. The other trades we had which of interest there was a kiwi dollar trade i think let's have a look at that one yeah so this trade we had i'm just going to turn chart update off what we had here was we had a buy break close there um which came off this close of this spike through the trend line um and that came out with a profit of eight dollars thirty. Um, reason being that if we, you see what's happened here is the system is placing the TB1 and the stop loss levels based on the trigger grid at the current time, which is exactly what you'd expect. So if you extend this take profit level back. Obviously, the trend moves with the trend line. It's proportional to the trend line, and that kind of level there is basically coincides. Just measure the distance. Hang on, I'll just show you what I'm doing. I'm measuring the distance between the trend line and the exit, so 20 pips. And if we then check the distance here, I think you'll find it's 20 pips. So that trade ran to its TP1 target. So there you go, um, just a just kind of quick overview. One thing I did notice which is of, of particular importance is don't run multiple charts with platinum and the same currency pair on them. I, I was running some euro dollar charts and I had uh, several of them running and platinum running on each one and it was giving me a conflict which I haven't quite got to the bottom of. So if you keep platinum on unique pairs in terms of system stability uh, I, I haven't seen any, any problems whatsoever. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Look forward to talking to you all soon.